Welcome back my friends! Today we are embarking on an exciting project to build a classic Pong game using Arduino and an OLED display. In this game you will be playing against the computer, controlling the left paddle using a joystick. As you score points, the score will be updated on the screen. The first player to reach 10 points wins the game. Not only is this project fun to build, but it's also quick and easy. In just a few minutes, you'll have your very own Pong game. So let's get started and have some fun. To build this project, you'll need the following components. A Raspberry Pi Pico board, an I2C 1.3 inch monochrome OLED display with the SSH 1106 driver, a breadboard, a joystick module and various wires. The cost of the project is around $15. You can find links for all the parts used in the video in the description below. Now let's move on to connecting all the components together. First we will place the OLED display and the Raspberry Pi Pico board on the breadboard as shown, with the joystick module next to them. We will start by connecting power to both modules. We will connect the 3.3V output of the Raspberry Pi Pico board to the red rail of the breadboard and the ground of the Raspberry Pi Pico board to the blue rail of the breadboard. Next we will connect the ground pin of the display and the ground pin of the joystick to the blue rail of the breadboard. Then we will connect the VCC pin of the display and the VCC pin of the joystick to the red rail of the breadboard as shown. To connect the display we will connect the SEL pin to pin GP5 which is pin number 7 on the Raspberry Pi Pico board. The SDA pin of the display will be connected to pin GP4 which is pin number 6. For the joystick module, we will connect the VRY pin to analog pin 1, which is pin number 32 on the Raspberry Pi Pico board, right here. We will be only connecting one wire, as we are only interested in the Y-axis movement of the joystick in this game. With these connections, our project is ready to use. When the project is first powered on, it will display a splash screen with custom graphics. Once the splash screen is displayed, we can start the game by moving the joystick up or down. Using the joystick, we can control the movement of the right paddle. The objective of the game is to be the first player to reach 10 points. Once the player reaches 10 points, a game over screen will be displayed. To restart the game, we simply need to move the joystick up or down. Cool, isn't it? Let's take a quick look at the code now. The project requires only one library to be installed in order to compile and work properly. The library needed is the Kyber OLED library for the OLED display. To install it, simply click on the Library Manager button, search for the Kyber OLED library and then click the Install button. That's it! Once the library is installed, you can upload the code to your Raspberry Pi Pico board. You can adjust the difficulty of the game by changing the value of the game speed variable. Additionally, the game is developed using object-oriented design, making it easy to modify the code to work with another display. The game logic remains exactly the same, you only need to change the methods that draw to the screen. As always, you can find a link to the code of the project in the description of the video below. On my second YouTube channel, I have created videos that can help you learn how to create the Pong game on your computer. If you are familiar with C++, you can check out the first video, or watch the second video if you prefer Python. Both videos provide a clear, step-by-step -step explanation of the code to help you understand how the game works and customize it to your liking. By using this knowledge, you can start building your own Arduino games with ease. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.